dear students continuing with our lecture series on organic reaction mechanism uh, this is our 43rd lecture and uh, as far as uh, aromatic electrophilic substitution is concerned we have already uh, gone through uh, different aspects of electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions Uh, general mechanism a lecture on general mechanism has already been uh, done then the different types of electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions uh, we have uh, already seen one lecture on nitration and sulfonation another lecture on halogenation and two lectures on friedel craft alkylation and acidation in addition uh, uh, we have already uh, done uh, the effect of uh, rate of reaction uh, in terms of orientation and reactivity of different substituents and uh, in today's lecture uh, we will discuss about uh, the rate of reaction in terms of uh, quantitative aspects uh, the quantitative rate studies of aromatic electrophilic substitutions they are uh, very complicated in comparison to qualitative qualitatively uh, we can tell uh, that based on uh, theoretical studies uh, different types of electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions they uh, if they are mono substituted they will provide us uh, ortho or beta or para products but how much of uh, these uh, products are formed quantitatively that uh, is a complicated process uh, to calculate and uh, this quantitative expression of rate and orientation in uh, aromatic electrophilic substitution uh, is uh, given by partial rate factor so this quantity uh, tells us about uh, how uh, much will be the rate of uh, reaction quantitatively and uh, in what aspects uh, different types of uh, orientation or tho meta or para will be there in case of uh, aromatic electrophilic substitution and this partial rate factor uh, will be a specific value for a given group and a given reaction so quantitatively each uh, group and each reaction will have a definite uh, partial uh, rate factor value and uh, this uh, partial rate factor uh, depends uh, on the rate of the substitution at uh, a position uh, in case of a substituted uh, benzene in comparison to any single position in the unsubstituted aromatic ring that is benzene in comparison to the substituted benzene will tell us what is the rate of substitution at a single position on a given substituted uh, aromatic ring and uh, we can calculate this partial rate factor based on uh, how much uh, proportion of the isomers uh, they are formed from the substituted benzene and then we can uh, quantify the relative rate of reaction of the substituted benzene uh, vis a vis uh, benzene itself so uh, proportion of isomers from the substituted benzene means that uh, what is the percentage of formation of ortho product or meta product or para product from uh, these reactions so uh, based on these two factors we can calculate the partial uh, rate factor for a given uh, group which is substituted on the aromatic ring or a given reaction uh, for which we can calculate the partial rate factor now for example uh, say uh, if we are to uh, perform uh, nitration of toluene and when uh, nitration of toluene is done under these conditions at 45 degree centigrade in presence of acetic acid then uh, all these three uh, isomers that is meta ortho and para they are formed and this is the percentage of the each isomer which has been formed uh, during this transformation of uh, toluene into uh, meta nitrotoluene or ortho nitrotoluene or para nitrotoluene so 3.2% of uh, meta nitrotoluene is formed 
56.8 percent of orthonitrotolvin is formed whereas 40 percent of paranitrotolvin is formed and as we know that uh, methyl group is an electron leasing group that means uh, this is a ortho para directing group and activating in nature so that is why the more of ortho and para products they are formed during nitration of the tolvi and when uh, the partial rate factors for this reaction they were calculated it was found that the ortho position uh, was having a partial rate factor of 41.75 meta position was having uh, a partial rate factor of 2.35 and para was having a partial rate factor of 58.8. So, these values of uh, partial rate factor they can be calculated uh, like this. So, if uh, we know the proportion of the isomer for example, if we are to calculate the partial rate factor for the para isomer say for uh, para position uh, the partial rate factor can be calculated like this that 40 percent of the isomer is formed and then we multiply this by uh, relative reactivity of the tolvin versus benzene. So, uh, when uh, this is theoretically calculated that if one of the hydrogen of benzene is replaced by methyl we get tolvin and the ring is activated due to the presence of this electron leasing group by 24.5 times. So, that means tolvin is 24.5 times more active towards electrophilic aromatic substitution than benzene. So, amount of isomer para isomer formed is 40 percent into relative reactivity of the tolvin that is 24.5 into 6 by 1. 6 is the number of position at which electrophilic aromatic substitution can take place in case of benzene. You can see over here there are 6 position where electrophilic aromatic substitution can be done in case of uh, benzene and uh, uh, in case of benzene and because we are calculating uh, the partial rate factor for the para position. So, there is only one para position in case of tolvin. So, 6 divided by number of uh, position uh, uh, where activation is there in case of tolvin, benzene divided by tolvin. So, 6 to 1. So, this is how we can calculate the partial rate factor for para position. So, this comes out to be 58.8. So, this is how we can calculate partial rate factor for different position. Similarly, if we are to calculate for ortho position, then the proportion of the isomer formed in ortho position is 56.8. 56.8 percent into relative reactivity of tolvin 24.5 into 6, 6 positions of benzene and there are 2 ortho positions present in the tolvin divided by 2. So, this comes out to 41.7. Similarly, we can calculate for meta position. So, proportion of the meta isomer formed is 3.2 percent into 24.5 uh, relative reactivity of the tolvin and then 6 is the number of uh, positions of benzene where uh, electrophilic aromatic substitution can take place and 2 is the number of meta position present in the tolvin. So, this is how the, this comes out to be 2.35. So, uh, this is the method for calculating the partial rate factor for different positions. So, by knowing uh, the proportion of the isomers formed during the reaction and relative reactivity of that substituent with respect to benzene, whether this is more active or less active in comparison to benzene we can calculate the partial rate factors. So, uh, basically partial rate factor gives us an idea about activation or deactivation of a particular position. So, either ortho or meta or para position whether this is more active or less active activation or deactivation in comparison to benzene. And if 
the value of uh, partial rate factor is more than one that means that group activates uh, in comparison to benzene whereas if the partial rate factor is less than one that means that position deactivates in comparison to any position in benzene so this is the significance of partial rate factor then partial rate factor can also be calculated uh, from modified hammett equation so before knowing the uh, modified hammett equation we must know what is hammett equation so hammett equation was given by uh, louis black uh, hammett in 1937 Uh, which described the linear free energy relationship relating to rate of reaction and equilibrium constant for many reactions involving benzoic acid derivatives with meta and para substituents so uh, this is just uh, a this uh, this is just an equation where on the basis of value of substituent constant and reaction constant we can calculate the uh, relative rate of a reaction and uh, the whole concept of hammett equation has already uh, been covered under uh, the lecture effect of structure on the activity and this is the link for uh, the whole uh, lecture on effect of structure on the activity and therein uh, we have covered this hammett equation but for electrophilic aromatic substitution we use modified hammett equation for calculating partial rate factors and uh, this partial rate factor uh, in modified hammett equation gives us uh, relative reactivity at meta and para positions only and this is not applicable to the ortho position so uh, this modified hammett equation is that log of partial rate factor is equal to sigma rho where sigma is a substituent constant and rho is reaction constant this substituent constant is a quantitative measure of uh, electron leasing or electron withdrawing capacity of a substituent group for example uh, in case of methyl we know this is a electron leasing group when this is attached to aromatic ring it will have a particular value for the substituent constant similarly uh, if we are having say nitro group on the uh, aromatic ring we know this is an electron withdrawing group so this uh, will show nitro group will show a, a definite value of substituent constant which will tell us that what is the capacity of that substituent group Uh, quantitatively and uh, these values of substituent constant they may be positive or they may be negative and uh, in general it has been seen that electron leasing groups they have mostly negative values of substituent constant whereas electron withdrawing groups they have positive values for substituent constant then similarly uh, reaction constant uh, this uh, gives us a quantitative measure of the sensitivity of the various reaction series to changes in polarity of the substituent you know uh, uh, if uh, uh, there is an electron leasing group it will have uh, different value of polarity in comparison to electron withdrawing group say methyl has a different polarity than nitro group or cyano group or carboxylic acid group so based on that changes in polarity of the substituent we will find that each reaction and each group will have a definite value of reaction constant and usually for a reaction uh, these uh, values for the reaction constant they are negative so in general uh, the values range from minus 2 to minus 10 a uh, larger uh, negative value indicates that there will be a strong effect of substituents on the rate of substitution electrophilic aromatic substitution so based on this equation we can quantitatively calculate the values for uh, 
meta position and para position and not for ortho position <coughs> sorry <coughs> so this is a drawback of modified hamlet equation that we cannot calculate uh, the partial rate factor for the ortho position so, so uh, these are uh, uh, the substituent constant values for uh, different uh, substituents uh, if you see these values you can see these all these values are negative values and if you see the nature of the substituent all these substituents they are electron leasing in nature so as i have told you that in general electron leasing groups they will have the negative values to exception of only few which have small positive values whereas uh, in case of uh, electron withdrawing groups chloro chloro bromo iodo cyano all these they are electron withdrawing groups or nitro so all these they have positive values of substituent constant so uh, these are uh, substituent constant values for para uh, position and these are values for meta position so, so by substituting the value of substituent constant and the reaction constant we can calculate the value of log of partial rate factor at meta and para position Similarly, these are the values for uh, reaction constant for some general reactions. So, this is alkylation reaction uh, for ethylation. If you are using reagent ethyl bromide and gallium bromide, the reaction constant value will be minus 2.4. In case of mercuration, uh, the reaction constant value for the reaction is minus 4. For bromination, it is minus 6.2 for acetylation it is minus 9.1 so larger the value negative value of uh, the reaction constant higher will be effect of the substituents on the electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction. so as i have already told you that values they vary between minus 2 to minus 10 so these are uh, the references which have been uh, consulted for preparing this lecture. Thank you very much.